Sehr schön, Türstentipp. We will not criminalize us, rob us of our true identity, steal our individualism, depoliticize us, turn us out as systemized, institutionalized, decent, law-abiding robots. Never will they label our liberation struggle as criminal. On March 1st, 1981, in the heat blocks of Long Case, Republican prisoners began a hunger strike, which was to last 214 days and witness the deaths of 10 prisoners, 10 Republican volunteers. May 5th, Bobby Sands, age 27. May 12th, Francis Hughes, age 25. May 21st, Raymond McCreesh, age 24. May 21st, Patsy O'Hara, age 24. July 8th, Joe McDonald, age 30. July 13th, Martin Herson, age 26. August 1st, Kevin Lynch, age 25. August 2nd, Kieran Doherty, age 25. August 8th, Paul McElwee, age 23. August 20th, Mickey Devane, age 27. This tip is dedicated to our memory to the memory of all those who died in the anti heat Club, Armagh Jail Agitation Campaign. Oh, I refuse my 
It is a fact of women's lives that their rule is largely ignored when history is written. The history of our own struggle is little different. Consider for a moment even how few of our songs reflect their experience and the vital active roles they play. In the everyday grind of struggle, it is women who have often been the strongest and have endured the most. We prisoners know this better than anyone. In the early days of the blanket protest, when few knew our cured, it was women who protested and later organised the relatives action committees. Throughout, it was women who seized the initiative and did the work. Theirs was the sweat in which the campaign was built. Then, and especially during hunger strikes, on daily visits to the prisons, they kept open the vital lines of communication. It was women who faced batons and plastic bullets with no defence save their own determination. To them we offer this sincere, if belated tribute. Glory oh, glory oh, to the bold Fenian men. Passing by the graveyard where lies the child she bore in famine years, she hurries on, the papers hidden deep in the folds of her black shawl. Wake up and show devotion to the men in Arbor Hill. Nearing Sackville Street Sniper's Field, she stops in a shadowed doorway and shifts the ammunition box wearily on her stooped back. And here's to the boys of Kilmichael, Charcoal and ash clad, she sifts through the cottage ruins, discarding pots and pans, until with a curse to the tans, the scorched webbly rests warmly against her belly. One man, one vote. The marchers scramble, scattering before the stones, and standing dazed in a cold January stream, the blood pools thickly on her scarf and duffel coat. Every man will stand behind the men behind the wire. Vinegar breathed against the gas, Steadily she measures out familiar kitchen things, sugar and soap powder, adding last to petrol. For we are the men on the blanket. From the back door hook her coat weeps on the placard's peeling face. As eyes shut she leans against the cooker and warms chill hands over the simmering pot.
Seems they always fold around you they Try to break you in a living hell But they couldn't find So they killed you in an H-block cell And hoped that all would turn away They thought your spirit couldn't rise again But you dared to prove them wrong And in death you tore away the chains To let the world hear freedom's song Yet the heartache and pain linger on They're still here, though it's ten years since you've gone But we're stronger now You showed us how Freedom's fight can be won I wish there was an easy road Bring the heartache to an end But easy roads are always sure to lose I've seen it time and time again If you could stand by me like yesterday I'd find the strength to carry on So let your spirit shine along the way And our day will surely come But the heartache and pain will linger on But we're stronger now You showed us how Freedom's fight can be won If we all stand as one I'm ninety miles from Dublin town I'm in an H-block cell To help you understand and reply This story now I'll tell I'm on the blanket pro For I'm joined by men and women in the Kesh and Dharma jail. It all began one morning. I was dragged to Castle Ray, and though it was 
was three years ago It seems like yesterday For three days kicked and beaten I then was forced to sign Confessions have convicted me Of crimes that were not mine Sentenced in the Diplock Court My protest began I could not wear this prison gear I was a blanket man I'll not accept their status I'll not be criminalized That's the issue in blocks For which we give our lives Over the If they could only make us wear their loathsome prison gear Prisoners of war, that's what we are And that we must remain The blanket protest cannot end Till status we regain I've been beaten round round the room Because I won't say sir I've been frog marched down the landing And dragged back by the herd I've suffered degradation, humility and pain. Still the spirit does not falter, British torture is in vain. I've been held in scalding water, while me back. With tax scrubs was torn I've been scratched and caught from head to foot Then thrown out on the floor I've suffered murder searches Been probed by drunken birds Oh, I've heard me comrades Cry and scream, then utter useless prayers. Now, with the news that's coming in, our protest must not fail. For now, we're joined by thirty girls in our mountains' jail. So pay attention, Irish men and Irish women too, and show the free state rulers their silence will not do. Though it's ninety miles to Dublin town, it seems. So far away There's more tension to our plight In the USA Oh now you've heard the story Of this filthy living hell Remember night Miles away, I'm still in an H block.
Just remember 90 miles away I'm still in an H-box cell Oh, my God. 
Say Sean, Dorothy. Well, they dropped the bomb in 45 to end the world. 
world war No one had ever seen such a terrible sight before The world of all the eyes white to see where it might lead Politics and power, they passed around the sea It was a time to remember They never can forget the plane Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Russian land There rose like the saviors of our mother in the rest Flesh and hell of hung about the face With the keys of the color, the treatment of our oaths Had shot a hobo, pocket full of pills Speaking all the ways of the enemy Lurked across the sea while the corrupt animals Like a carrier of the Deep down inside the bunkers of the concrete and the lead Einstein's disciples working steadily ahead Making heavy metal power plants through hard city lines All you can hear in the underground is a humming through the night The walls find security, circle all around they Spill out their poison, they bury it in the ground Hold up in the harbors and seek to be away Our heads and submarines with the maker play And the money must remain on proven their designs Soldiers get all dope but stumble through the lanes And the stones in the river get tied up by the tide And the call is security but we're not satisfied Our statesmen and leaders with their politicians pay Quick to heed the hand that feeds are careful what they say They call out experts to assure us to wave the magic wand This is the power of the future and the future marches on Oh, they call in all favors, all the political games Spill, spill the rivers and settle in the plains They've caused the death of millions and it's their stock and trade. They will be affected by the fall of the dead maid. They've seen the wrong inevitable doom and it must surely come. Not even the moon's jeweler will be far enough away to run. And the earth they have assaulted against the corner on and the unavoidable gravity sucks them to the ground. I know the minds behind them, they're riddled full of holes Not to be trusted, but they're hard to decontrol Their right side is twisted by the glory of their careers Keep praise of flatteries, music to their ears Or to listen to them talk about how it hasn't happened yet Like playing Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Russian roulette Like playing Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Russian roulette Sackville Street, the corfume drum, the restless out of sight. Blackened tons marched up and down, and the moon shone cold and bright. The shot was like a whip crack on the first man of his feet. He died on bloody cobblestones as his comrades. Call the reinforcements All the people from their beds Were screaming, get the prospects Whose fear was in their heads And they found the man a seller He was only seventeen Was fighting for his country Dying Sergeant dragging by her, lead him to the ground, to this young man's body, he emptied every man. 
the street I'm watching for your face I'm listening for your feet Outside the wind is blowing It's just begun to rain That causes me such pain My mind's wandering back again To when you were here I wish I had you now Oh, I wish that you were near I remember the winter Want me from the cold And in spring When we walk through Green fields and skies of gold You're gone, you're gone But you live on In my In summer we played with the kids You brought us young Jane But now it's lonely and cold It's winter once again It's dark now I see the stars are out Way up in the sky Oh how they of the sparkle in your eyes I'm lonely, yes I'm lonelier Than the cold wind that blows Are you happy, are you alright I suppose God only knows And darling, all the people Going to bed The kids are crying for you How can I tell them that you're dead? You're gone, you're gone But you live on In my Are 
child and the dancing on the hogs. The goats collapse, the dogs run away in the summer and in the bog. There's a million gallons of voice to say, and Peter's around the glen. But they'll never catch that Hercule man, cause he's never coming back again. Michael Hutton, the blood will have you gone, crying and shaking men. Where are you, Saxon? Here's the chicks of the man and a reel to the drop, swing to the garden dogs. May you still play a part soon, cheer company of the bug. Rosaline Sands, you do not know me. I saw you only on the television screen when so reluctantly you announced, my son is dying. Standing with such dignity and calm amidst your suppressed and deeply personal grief, I felt an intruder to your private torment, witness to a mother's naked mourning. Thank you for allowing us to share your precious final moments with a great man. Time is cold, depart my love I must go away I leave you now, a darling girl No longer can I stay My heart like yours is broken All Say 
Thomas, me may a beast of dawn. Me Clinton, the Vegas, me Factor, my Reem, John. Our chicken, our last fetter, knock, me may be all. Dearie, may our mutton, my honey, can keep a dawn. Oh, the bravest 
October 3rd, 1981, the Hits Black Hunger Strike ended. In a lengthy statement released by the prisoners, they pointed out that despite the electoral successes, the hundreds of thousands at hunger strikers' funerals, despite massive and unprecedented displays of community support and solidarity, the British government had adhered rigidly to the policy that might is right, and that nothing had really changed since the fall of Stormont or from the inception of the state. Others equally criticised were the Catholic Church hierarchy who had opposed the hunger strike though offering no alternative course of action. Their stance was described by the prisoners as immoral and misleading. The southern parties of Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael and Labour who had sat idly by, thus encouraging the British to continue with their death policy, were accused of being accessories to the legalised murder of ten true and committed Irishmen. The SDLP, who had consistently refused to withdraw from the council chambers in protest at the British intransigence, had, the prisoners said, been recognised for what they are, and an amalgamation of middle class revenants, a void of principle, direct, uh, direction and courage. The statement went on to thank those who had stood by them and done so much for them, and vowed that the struggle to win their outstanding demands would be pursued with the same resolution as before. That struggle took on a new That struggle took on a new dynamic. Having won the right to wear our own clothes gave us greater freedom of movement. New structures were formed. Petty restrictions were combated and broken down. Political debate and classes thrived, and a strategy for the attainment of outstanding demands quickly formulated. Within a year, segregation from loyalists and non-political offenders was achieved, and less than two years from the end of the hunger strike. From the time that Thatcher boasted the IRA had played his last card, Republican prisoners in the most dramatic manner once again displayed their ingenuity, resourcefulness, unity of purpose and sheer audacity. Each Block 7, in the centre of the most heavily guarded jail complex in Europe, was for over two and a half hours fully under the control of the Irish Republican Army. An escape which ranks as the most successful and daring in the history of British penal institutions was underway. The struggle goes on.
Well, show, show me the job, though. Where's the Lord? Where's the Lord? Where is the chair? I mean, it's about two years. Two years, two years. Is that the same as 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 like there's a bit of history about it because we've got the like of Tomboy, who's uh, who's good mates with Bobby Sands, with the Kids, with him and Ed McLaggett. Like took over his trunk for Bobby. Um, Ronnie, you were on the hunger strike. The rest of us were on the on, on the blanket one that. Snoots yeah, Johnny come with me. Snoots came in. Snoots came in around about the time the hunger strikes, and uh, don't want to be dramatic, like, but it was. There is a bit of history that you can sit in this room and there's all that connection right back to the cages, right to the, the, the blanket, the home sticks, right to the present day. And uh, it just struck me that it was pretty significant. <coughs> what was that, Leonard? Well, I thought Freedom wasn't going to finish. <laughs> 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 uh, it's, uh, it's really opposite to myself. This, I'm a man of few words, <laughs> which is really, you know. Uh, what I really got out of it was. I thought there was a sense of achievement with us here being, well, the way we're incarcerated in here, being able to turn out and tape. Uh, probably it isn't as professional as people on the outside here, especially people are who's into music would like to see. But uh, the type of tape that we're into taken here it really isn't a, to, uh, to really hate mm -hmm. music in a big way. It's really to betray a message and to let people know where, but even know where we're in here. Uh, we're held in uh, captivity, but we still see ourselves as political activists, and hopefully this tape will go uh, going away to prove it. Uh, I also see it as, as an extension of our, uh, of our progress in here throughout the years, where we're not going to sit back uh, and accept or not. Uh, I see it as just an extension the likes of uh, the publications, the jail publications that we've recently released, the Gloria Gofa. Uh, so, really, all in all, I think it's quite sad. Have you a tomboy? Well, I look back with what freedom was saying. <laughs> that, that it, had a, it had a whole history. And uh, I can't be playing music here. And it's a bit, it's a bit pleasure for me to play the, the music. But it brings back a lot of memories of myself and Bobby. That uh, he was in the music himself. And uh, he was playing the guitar outside. And we've done a few sessions outside. And we were both came in, came back in again, the jail. And we did a private protest together. And Bobby wrote songs like the ones we have in the tape, <coughs> Matanella, uh, Sad Song for Susan, Back Home and Derry, and Michael Haddon. Uh, we used to sing all these songs in a the blanket with no music whatsoever. And then it got this little beat, the drum song fell up in the door, beat in the back of the door, the triangle of beat, and all the lads joined in, we won, we had. And uh, put a day, we just sat down and put music behind a lot of these songs. And it's been great. For me, and here these the, the people that the, the part of this here to sit there and put music behind all these songs. It's some songs that we've all sung before in a blanket, and has a lot of meaning to it. And I'm sure if Bobby was here today, he'd stuck in the middle here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're hot, uh, they're hot in this here, banging away, saying this and trying this and trying the other. What about the, the new boy? Oh, well, it's been almost said, me been a Johnny Come Lily. Johnny Come Lily. The, the youngster, the youngster, the mm -hmm. chair. Well, he's yeah, he helping her. The only thing I would say was that I was out the time of the homeless time, was at the marches and I was at a lot of the funerals and stuff like that. Uh, little did I know then that the sacrifices that were made in here were going to benefit, benefit me you know, a few years later. And uh, I feel I've got to know the like of Bobby through some of the songs that he wrote, the songs that we have done you know, for the theatre. And uh, especially the song, That Time Has Come, I was singing it, I thought back to the families, the hunger strikers during you know, the funerals when we were buried. That's one of the things that's been in my head. Like, before the song of the laugh or something, I was seeing them on the day I know their sons or their husbands and that was buried. But I'm glad I took part in it. One of the first records or the first music for the first time. I always get the things I did. I appreciate you buying one. What would you pick? 
Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot been said here, but uh, memories coming back, and there's no question about it. The, the whole project that we got into when, when you asked me to do it in the first place, on it that uh, it was a wee bit apprehensive because uh, of using inferior quality equipment and that there. But we weren't, weren't sure of getting a good projection of voices and good music or, or getting a good pickup. So we were worried about the quality of it because I do believe that it's a very, very important project. And I think that, uh, first and foremost, I think it's a tribute to the progress that we've made in here since the hunger strikes. That we can put these things together and that we are able through a wee bit of ingenuity and a wee bit of resourcefulness uh, and plenty of enthusiasm to come together and do this sort of a thing. I think it's also, uh, I would like it to be seen as a fit and tribute to the hunger strikers themselves, to all the hunger strikers, because the sacrifice that was made here was phenomenal. And I think that uh, ourselves particularly, and I don't mean just the small group of people here, I mean the prisoners probably are the ones who are most deeply touched by <coughs> outside of the families, of course, by the sacrifice that was made. You know, just mentioned about how to sacrifice the member and the fact that I'm happy as I'd say it. Uh, I would also like to say also, I think, Phelan, uh, Phelan's poem about the, the women in struggle. I think also it's a fitting tribute that we have identified women's part in the struggle. I think it's a very important part, but we don't, not particularly us, but people in general don't give a lot of credibility to, they don't give a lot of notice to. And I think that the poem in itself brings out that whole aspect. Um, for me, it's been an experience, and it's something that I would like to have done as professionally as possible. And uh, there are a lot of memories about it. And the only thing I say is that I've taken great strength from the sacrifices in 1981. And any time that anybody gets depressed or anybody feels down, they don't know where to go, how to go forward or where to go. But all we have to do is sit and reflect on the challenge that was taken up by the hunger strikers in 1981, and you can move forward from there. Look at yourself. <coughs> There's also way it is, You only never want to drink before the session. I follow butter. Uh, well, I think there's a combination of all those things, but particularly that there, I would like to see it as a tribute. Not only to, because a lot of original material that was written by Bobby and, and others in the blogs, but particularly for those people I say, for the families, and for those who uh, have done so much for us, because we are nothing uh, without them and their support. And too often, not only are they physically assaulted, but verbally abused by uh, your media, politicians, uh, church leaders and such like, and have a lot to be proud of. And uh, we have a lot of people proud of them with them. There's a lot of creativity in the blogs out there. And that uh, what we want to do is encourage it. Hopefully this tip will be some sort of encouragement to show what we can do. Mm. It's just, yeah, just has been very enjoyable doing the whole thing. A lot of, a lot of work and no, a lot of standards. My bag is there for I am on a roach. <laughs> <laughs> This cruise never heard as much practising for concerts and all that. Well, no, I reckon they think there's a big do coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably looking for a gargle. <laughs> we're, <laughs> sitting, we're sitting in Scotland, I say, all five is, and everybody's out there. Three degrees outside. Five is. 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 Five